be top heavy. I mean, there's so many killers in this bracket tonight, and uh, we're, we're down to six. Uh, and honestly, not the six that I would have put in my like fantasy bracket. I yeah. uh, would have expected a lot more Georgia. Uh, but we're not talking about Georgia. We're talking about Alabama versus Tennessee here with the Danny versus Boltion getting into game one on PS2. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much uh, Danny has played against Pichus, but mm -hmm. we're about to find out. Boltion really familiar with uh, a lot of the early kill setups, a lot yeah. of the... Uh, Places that, that that he can get his cheese going. I, I definitely agree with that. I think Danny is starting this match a little slow, just because he doesn't really have that data on on Pichu, mm -hmm. which is just very smart for him. Uh, and especially a character like Wolf, you can play Fate and Punish very effectively, and so far effective as has been. I mean, 69% 70 already on Volteon, and potentially uh, Danny looking for an early kill here. Okay, he's gonna catch the neutral air. All right, I wonder if he's gonna start catching some of these, of these on the stage from Volteon. Mm. They're hard to catch. They I are mean, very hard. Danny's good. Uh, a, a Nair hits a lot, and I'm sure he'll probably get something at some point here. But I mean, Danny's playing his game, and Volteon's really just trying to have to like play around it and try to get anything on him, really. He's only really been getting like stray hits here and there and really hasn't been able to establish stage control like he wants to here. And so I mean, it's been kind of rough for him. I mean, these stray hits are gonna continue to send him so far off stage and just lead to Danny uh, uh, getting in his ledge trap on. And, and I mean, honestly, that's I think where he excels the most. Absolutely, and I mean Pichu's extremely easy to two frame, so yeah. we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing a lot of those those up B's and the mind games around those up B's, you know, on mm -hmm. the stage and and to the ledge. Um, and I think I think Danny is very aware at this point that play, playing very very safe, aware that Volteon mm -hmm. with one hit could uh, get something oh, really yeah. effective started. Yeah, I, I just heard a pop up. Yeah. <laughs> I was from Melee, yeah. I oh, was like, Melee? <laughs> so I, I got rattled by that. I got to go back to the commentary mode. Okay, he finally got that kill. Was that laser or was that up, like F tilt upwards? I couldn't really tell. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, it almost looked like laser for a second there. But regardless, Danny getting that first stop. Great set to him. Uh, playing excellently in this game one here. But Volteon getting him in a pretty precarious situation here. Could get a stop very early here as well. Okay. Life situations. Oh. I'm not quite gonna get it. I'm gonna get stuck at the ledge by himself now. Mm -hmm. That was a really good attempt there from Volteon. I, I like him going deep there, but uh, Danny being able to just barely stall his recovery out so he didn't get hit with that back air. And uh, again, Denim One is getting a lot of uh, extra credit, as they say, on this second stock. And honestly, that kind of extra credit is gonna be really good against Pikachu. Uh, it might be a little bit more, honestly. It might yeah. be a whole other stock here the way it's looking. Uh, Danny just playing out of his mind in neutral right now, and Voltion has been struggling to get around it. Ooh. Oh, nice fair. Coming yep. off the ledge, gonna take that first stock. One of the things that I think is so hard about this matchup for Pichu, yeah. man, all right, firing Rough. right back. <laughs> one of the one of the things that I think is so hard for Pichu in this matchup is the fact that Wolf, um, you know, unless he's getting like fair bear or, or something like that, he's not really going to be. Um, going absolutely crazy on the early kills. Yeah. Um, just gonna play the game, get the F tilt or the the nair at high percent to get the kill. And Pichu does self damage. Oh my God! Oh, what a call out there for Volteon, killing Denny at 70, and all of a sudden eating in this game right back up here. Oh wow, what a read uh -oh. there from Volteon. Uh oh, yeah, I, I got scared too. The the jab slot setup. I was like, <laughs> Volteon, Volteon starting to come alive here, but that side be gonna reset neutral. Who goes for that? That's, <laughs> that was, <laughs> that so was insane. Uh, Danny's just a different breed of wolf here. Oh, that tomahawk was so good. It was. That was actually a dirty tomahawk there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yep. And the economy snake up till going to seal the game, game for Danny. Absolutely. I mean, it's not even economy. This is it's just really like not. short. It's like short snake up till. That's it. <laughs> Let's take a look that at this. Terrible. Yeah, this is a the call out here on the up tilt. Ooh, and that was such a great trap there from Man. Danny, right? Calling, just trying to throw out a hitbox there to just in case to check uh, Volteon trying to just go back to the ground, but then always ready for him to just be able to jump on that top platform there. Uh, and so really just kind of almost like an op, not even an op, 
it's not option selection, but it, like it felt like it. Yeah. Just the way you played that on Bolteon and yeah. Bolteon getting caught. I think one of the things that that was really cool is that that his back was actually facing Bolteon when he was coming yeah. off of that platform, so he did the turnaround up tilt um, and and kind of lull Bolteon into a false sense of security. And it, now we're going out of city. It looks like. Mm -hmm. Um. Interesting pick. Uh, I, both characters are definitely going to be able to go off the side a lot here. Uh, but you know, Volcano was going to die anyways on early stuff because, I mean, like, he's. he's he too. Yeah. Uh, you, you can die really easily to a lot of wolf moves here. So, yeah, might as well uh, fix that extra cheese here. Get those early kills. I mean, he killed with that board smash at 50 last game. He can probably kill at like 40 this game or who knows what percent. Uh, so, I, I can definitely see this pick for him. Yeah. The main, main money to be made on this stage is going to be where, where each character threatens the other's recovery. Um, and and, and I, I hope we'll get to see some of that. But, oh, Multium barely missing the, uh, the extended shield grab. You know, you know what I'm... Pichus do this thing where they, they they run up and then they like roll... It's roll cancel shield grab, that's what it is. Extremely long shield, uh, excuse me, grab range. And it, it's really great for him to be able to extend his, his range in this matchup. I especially, again, like I said, this is the only disjoint. Tech chase. The, uh, the tech chase ah. forward tilt. Yeah. That's the forward tilt we, we were talking about, you know? Like, it, I, that's just going to be one of the things that we see killing Pichu consistently because it's, it's, it's so hard to deal with. Stage. Yeah. Like, this stage is going to be coming way earlier here. I mean, all this down on an F tilt of his own here is that okay. it actually used it pretty well on this stage. Uh, but, and he's getting out of the fact that he's getting his F tilt here. Um, we call it from the back there. Gonna put Denny in a little spot. Okay. Not gonna get the F smash this time. Go back to new school. I'm legit impressed on like how Danny has been playing, like he's getting off the ledge yeah. late here. I, he really hasn't been caught at all by Bolton's ledge traps and he's been getting back to stage and establishing stage control like very I don't want to say easily but very effectively. Uh, and so it's been really hard for Bolton to even uh, find the kill on him. Because, I mean, you're going to need that last trap to find this kill in this game. Yeah. Um, hey, man, everybody's yeah. willing to punish uh, Wolf Side B until it's in bracket. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, like, always scared of Wolf Side B. It's, like, <sighs> terrifying. Oh, yeah. is that up beat? Danny yeah, looking to, to catch some of these, like, ledge options with up beat. That, that was super smart. He would have caught roll and neutral get up, but uh, Ultion being super smart, staying timing. Staying with the timing mix, so excuse me. I think it goes in. Oh, it goes in there. Uh, I want to say in neutral, I mean, can't they have to Oh, don't they finally able to get that kill, kill there? But uh, I want to say, like, any in neutral has just been so good at, like, avoiding huge um, cheese by, by this uh, Thunder Jolt here. Yeah. He's been playing around it really well, and it's been helping him a lot because, I mean, that is a lot of uh, in neutral in general. Oh. Uh, as I say that, though, both guys going on a little bit of a tear there, 47% on. On the wolf here, uh, and, and again, both are going back to just trying to space out with the Thunder Jolts and really uh, just trying to not get hit once because that could be uh, death by almost any straight move here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think I think one of the things that, that is really cool to note as well about Pichu is that when a Pichu player, or, or Voltion in this instance, gets to a high percent, a lot of times they're going to be way more willing to just shoot yeah. T-Jolts willy-nilly. So, um, At that point, it doesn't matter, right? Like, you're going to die anyway, so you might as well play as late as possible. <laughs> This has been oh. the Danny show for these Yo. for these matches every single time, and then Bolteon gets the nuttiest read and just eats it back up. That is incredible. What a call out! Oh, lightning loops! Gonna get gonna get a crisp 48. Okay, Danny gonna be able to respond with a near to forward tilt. These guys really just trying to. These guys are trying to just trade blows now. Oh yeah, I mean. That yep. kind of action is definitely more favorable for Danny here. I mean, obviously, the, uh, the difference in weight, difference in uh, percent that these characters are going to die at. Oh, uh, Woo. Both the odds. Uh, oh. Living. Oh. Okay, let's trap. Oh, oh my, my reads the roll. God. Okay. Fantastic you know, read. Danny has oh. been playing the neutral better. However, 
Voltion is getting these call outs. Oh, and this they is... are saving him God. in this game. What a kill there. That was such a good read, too. A lot of players, and you know, even top players not included, I love to escape to those platforms so they just don't have to deal with that ledge, right? Absolutely. Oh, look at Voltion. Like, I still like Rin. Did you see that guy? Yeah. He, he oh, yeah. smiled just a little bit. Oh, he's, yeah. he's popping off for himself there. But a lot of players love to go to that platform. And so uh, being able to be ready to call that out and almost not effectively out of nowhere catching yeah. Danny off guard was just excellent awareness there from Volteon. Definitely an insane presence of mind to be able to get something like that. And Volteon definitely looking more comfortable. I, I know that he has uh, plenty of experience against Wolf, um, you know, with Murph and... Merch, Merch Wolf is nothing oh, shabby. <gasps> oh, wow. It's not quite going to be enough to take it, but Volteon showing no signs terrible. of letting up whatsoever. <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely terrifying. I, I would have had a heart attack if I was Danny, but I mean, great uh, patience there for Danny. Mm. Uh, being able to recognize that he can still make it back uh, instead of uh, choking the stock out of, out of fear. Uh, so. <laughs> Definitely uh, a worse player would have done that, but he's still doing a great job here. Yeah. And getting that neutral That was so up. good. One of the things that I, I love about Danny's Wolf is the, the optimization of his combo game and then like, just, just the coverage in general. I, I'm a sucker for some coverage, and that... Hey, you want to talk about oh. optimized combos there? Oh, was that, my. like, up air, that was falling up there. Joel, and then I think he got, like, up tilt, up uh, down beat. That was incredible. Good Holy gosh. crap. Oh, oh, another one. Oh. And that's second like right. Excuse me. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm Wait. surprised it's in the right because, like, he was turned to the left there when he hit that down beat, but I mean, should I get that? I, I, I need something to oh. I want to know better. Gets the runoff. Not going to be able to get the F smash. Okay. Danny trying to slow the pace, but Volteon not wanting any of it. Got to get the down smash. That's the Volteon classic. Everybody gets hit once with the Volteon just raw down smash. Uh, it's got eye frames. It does. <laughs> And that was great show for the Volteon, just like running all of the plays, like making sure that they didn't even have a uh, chance to free on that second stock there, and finished it with a wonderful down play. Nice oh wow, he is just like, reading Dave's approach. It's really hard now. Yeah. Uh, been able to like, just do some great micro oh. spacing. It's the same way twice in a row. This, this game matters so much. People talk about how game three is the, the major counterfeit game going into the rest of the set. It's and the insurance policy, yeah, if you will. Absolutely. I mean, it, it definitely doesn't define the pace of this matchup here, whoever he's making here. I mean, Volteon, we've already seen from that second game, he's getting a lot more confident in his dogs. Uh, and and Denny kind of like trying to keep up with his dogs. And he's got to be calling with his own. He's definitely reading some of Volteon's ledge options here. But again, the pace of the game, Volteon has kind of shifted in his favor. Uh, and making it really hard for Danny to breathe. Oh, no Raw Thunder. Not going to be able to get it. Danny is fighting for his right now. It's and you got to see, he's standing those uh, Yeah, the frantic those nair. Yeah. yeah, frantic nair. Hey, if you stand there, you move. You stand there, you move to try to get it out, you know? 100%. Wow. Oh, Danny almost had that call out. Okay. Oh, this is tense. Oh, wow. Wait, in the tag lock, maybe to... the finish, Volteon! 2-1, up on Danny! Wow! My goodness. That was, like, on. like one of the first, like, 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 key jolts that I've seen him hit on Danny, like, on stage. And, wow, I mean, what a way to make use of it, you know? Yeah, he... Volteon is always, always, always ready for those tech chases. You'll, you'll see him a lot of the time, you know, he'll get the hit, send them into tumble, go to where they're going to tech, jab, and then still follow up. You were seeing that over and over and over. And um, Dan Danny, a lot of times, wasn't either respecting that, you know, Volteon coming in with an option afterwards, or um, just getting caught shielding. Volteon was getting so many grabs. And that might just be the, like, the matchup in experience, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe he just he wasn't ready for the fact that, like, T.J. would send him into a stumble situation uh, and, and, and and just not ready for the tech. And to be fair, that was a hard tech to hit. I mean, it sends you, like, basically on the ground. So um, I definitely don't blame him for missing the tech. But speaking of missed techs here, that's going to be a little bit dangerous. Wow, what a team! Oh, oh, my, my goodness. God. Oh, my goodness. Cody stood up. Yeah. 
That okay. was the craziest thing I've ever seen. If he finished that off of that thunder, I, I, I would have left. It's like, yeah. that's that off. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cody does the talking in, the, in this match up here. Let, let the game the talk. <laughs> yeah, let the game talk, man. That was crazy. <laughs> I, I'm really interested to see how Danny is going to adapt to this faster, you know, like non-reactive um, style of play that, that Multion is, is kind of imposing on him, um, and, and if he'll be able to slow it down. So that side thing was definitely a down Oh, beat. for sure. <laughs> I saw him do that earlier against Mirage, where like, it was like the end of like, one of the games, and he went for uh, down beating that side beat, so it was on the side of the stage. Mm. I mean, hey, still, momentum definitely still in his favor. I mean, uh, Danny has a chance to breathe a little bit here. He can definitely camp a little bit more here. Um, Man. But I was lose that stock to the yeah. left the back here. But I mean, having that percent lead is very, very important for Danny here. And I think it's going to let him play more comfortably in this position where he can just kind of bait and punish a lot more, which is what we kind of saw in that first game, where he was just playing a lot more patient and a bigger bunch of Yeah. One of the things that I, I think I think Bolteon is, is showing well and and Danny is is now you know realizing that the only lead in this game, yeah. specifically this matchup, is a stock lead. Yep. And if Danny can get and maintain that lead, he's going to be able to uh, tack on the the, the the stray hits, the damage, you know, the wolf game plan. He's gonna be able to play slower, you know, force Voltion to, to take unfavorable trades, approaches, um, and Voltion just always. Always going to be looking for a way to turn it up. I think Ultion actually read that, that that air dodge back to the platform, but I think he might have air dodged like a little bit too low. Yeah. I think he was definitely trying to land on the platform there. Missed, um, the, missed the wave dash. Ooh, trying to catch that music. I didn't quite get it. Reset control. Oh, no. We got out. Oh. Okay. Then he knows he needs to hold on to this stock. There's so much Pichu cheese that can happen. There's that back here. Great DI though. Cool. Wow. The last hit of back air, and all of a sudden, 70% on Vulcan here. Again, he's got to be terrified. He's still got to play pretty slow here, but if he can get one good combo, even just like a cheese moment here on Wolf recovering here, that could be the end of the set here. So, I mean, Dan is still having to try to find the pace of the game here and try to slow this down if he wants to try to take this to game five. Okay, well. Oh, there it is. Danny, Danny popping off. Oh, that was a fantastic catch. That's exactly what he had been looking for. It's what, it's what we were talking about at the start of the set, you know, is if those upbe the upbe mind games um, were going to become a factor and, and Danny showing, okay, I, I'm just going to put this back here, here. You're not allowed to come here. And uh, Voltion just... Yeah. He kind of just jumped the gun there too, right? Like he didn't even wait for the, like the second uh, up. He's just like, I'm gonna hit you right here. I'm gonna throw this out, catch the first hit there. I, I would sure. predict that you're not gonna go to ledge here because both of us don't really wanna go to hold on. There's no way that he pulls up. The yeah, no, I, I, I think I think he was just hovering it. He was thinking, Cody. Was thinking. Cody hey, definitely. Stop thinking, bro. Go back to bolt. <laughs> go back to beat you. <laughs> Oh, no. oh man, this is what we came for though. This is some good ultimate game five. Danny Voltion. Okay. <laughs> Had a little bit of a, a standoff there. I mean that's I feel like like how Danny wants to start these games, right? He just wants to play it slow and Voltion just wants to rush in and really like put Danny on his toes and really get him to start sweating here. Uh, and, and that's kind of just what we've seen with how these matches go. When Voltion's able to define the pace of the game, he wins like uh, with these crazy call-outs, he's able to just get his advantage take here. But uh, when Danny has the ability to uh, start zoning, get this lead, he's getting... Ooh! Dash attack, down beat? That's, that's got to be fake. <laughs> there's no way that's more real. More than likely, there's no way. I mean, I don't know PG stuff, but like, I there's no way. That's, that's, it's true for Voltion, though. Yeah, true for Voltion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great grab from Danny. Gotta catch Voltion, you know, trying to stay in shield. Okay. We're back to kind of the slow game here, right? I mean, both uh, players know that one interaction here is still dead. Um, yeah. Danny really looking for these back airs and these up tilts. Gonna be swinging the big moves. Interesting. Uh, I guess he's trying to read for like a, a DIN. Yeah, or DIN, yeah. Um, Okay, back throw. Not gonna kill. I think that was good DI. Yeah. I'll, I'll just stay. Yeah. For town, you can DI down, I guess. 
Oh, wow. What a catch. Not gonna kill. Oh man, one hit is gonna kill either one of these guys. This is so tense. I mean, this stock could basically be trying to set here. Ooh. And it looks like Danny's gonna take that first stock here. And now Danny definitely gonna try to play this one here, but at that might be Four. Oh. Wow. It's not quite. I don't think he really has good kill for us here. Back air not killing that. Two hundred percent. Two thirteen. Fourth throw will definitely be killing now. Great take yeah. there for both on. Excellent play there. I love up running the stage. He just backed up. Called out by Danny was going to be a little bit aggressive because Lunch get up on him. And able to uh, take this game back to Mutual before Danny could really get too much percent, which is super important. Both of wants to win the set because we've seen earlier. I mean, Danny, once you get to I'm just kind of watching. Yeah, I'm trying here. to find. I'm trying to think of something to say, but I'm just in awe at how, how how well these guys are playing and I mean, how. You can touch the tension yes. of neutral with like a nice. Ooh. Ooh. And miss head. That what was. What a hurt there. At, at the ledge, uh, there's not not much you can do about that besides get up attack. That covers all the uh, the roll options. The multi on. We'll put him off stage. We're gonna see. One of those emphatic equalizers. Yep. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> if I got a pineapple and I would have tried. That, that would be the saddest way to end this set. I, I do want to say both of them have been playing this ledge game a lot better. Uh, yeah. We've seen in past games, Danny has been able to get off ledge fairly easily. But uh, Volteon, uh, that, that was a oh. really long ledge trap there for Volteon uh, uh, earlier. I mean, now Danny, of course. Got him on the ropes here, which is neutral. Yeah. But, uh, but Stockley, like we were talking about, just allows him to to feel the approaches much easier. And that F tilt is going to seal it. Danny popping off. That was a great set. That was These really, guys. So much fun. These players have a bunch of respect to each other. Uh, I think both players played it fantastically. Just Danny able to get that stock lead and able to clutch it out there on Ooh. the game five. Uh, and here's the uh, kill that ended the set here. Great yep. ledge dropping there from Danny. Just waits for the roll in. Spaces itself beautifully here. I believe that forward tilt might have caught neutral good up as well. So really just trying to cover as many options.